Lunch is at Crystal Palace today, and then it's gonna be right off the hub in Magic Kingdom. Right behind me is the check-in stand. We checked in about 15 minutes early, so you just go up, check in, let them know, give me your phone number, and they'll give you a text whenever it is time for your table. You can sit up on the deck up here in the shade. normally a character meal and it's usually Winnie the Pooh and friends but right now it is there's no characters in here so this is just a prefixed meal it's a three course meal and we're here for lunch and the prices for lunch are $39 for a uh, plus tax per adult and $23 for kids then from there so um, what they'll sit down on the table is they're gonna set down a family salad which is gonna be a plate of salad for everybody to pick off of and then also a Thing of rolls, two times and three different kinds of toppings and butter. From there, you're going to be able to pick from one, two, three, four, five different entrees, and the entrees are going to be either fried chicken, pork chop, prime rib, catfish and shrimp, and then their plant-based version is going to be southern fried cauliflower. After that, the third course is going to be your dessert course, and what they're going to do is they're going to set down an entire plate of different desserts for the entire family to choose from. Walking into this uh, table service, I do love the feel of it. It's very light, very airy, and very open. I do, I do like that a lot. I like the, the lightness of it and the airiness of it. So it's kind of like you're in an atrium. They have uh, plants all around, windows all around, which makes it nice. And it's very, very cooling. Lots of families in here, so it is probably medium loud. I have been in louder restaurants, and I've also been in quieter restaurants. But nothing that's just over the top. It itself looks like um, spring greens. It also has some walnuts in it. It also looks like it has a little bit of feta and a little bit of blue cheese. Mm. There's a nice light vinaigrette on it. Very nice. A little sweet. So, wow, food came out within minutes. Minutes. I mean, literally minutes. Maybe, maybe seven, seven minutes. Look at the fried chicken, mac and cheese, I think, I don't know if those are turnip greens, whatever it is, he's not going to eat it. <laughs> and then my prime rib, we have uh, uh, scallops, not, yeah, scallop potatoes, looks like a spinach dip, dipping, uh, an au jus sauce, oh my god, that looks good. I don't even know where to start, it smells so good. It has some kick, it has a lot of black pepper notes to it. The first part I took was way too big. Mm. Flavor of it is really good. I asked for it to be medium. It's uh, definitely cooked the correct way. It has been seared on the side, so the edges are um, a little more tough. I have had tender herb prime rib, but for a family style and as quickly as they're pushing out this, it's really good. Now for the potatoes. Just a light cheese taste, they're not overly done. Probably needs a little bit of seasoning, a little salt, a little pepper, but I wanted to try everything without any added stuff to it. And now the cream spinach. Ooh, that's really good. That's really rich. Still really hot. Mm. It's very nice. Very creamy. Let's try the fried chicken. I love the crunch on it. The spices, what are the spices in there? Oh, it, it does have some kick to it. So if you've got picky eaters, it's, it's not a plain fried chicken. So just beware. It's almost like rosemary, basil, basil definitely. Ooh, 
Yeah, that, that definitely has some heat to it. That's crazy. All right, now we're gonna try the macaroni and cheese. Bread comes on top, or great. Added little crunch in there. I like it because it's not like overly cheesy, like it's just gonna sit on you. There's not much heat to this, so that'll be good for a picky eater. You definitely get a ton of food. So if you're eating here in the middle of the day, it's almost kind of like a waste if you're not going to take it with you. I think we are gonna bag up one of his pieces of chicken and have it later in the resort later tonight because it could bag up easily. I hate to just like the salad is beautiful and then the other things that we can't take with us like the macaroni and cheese but maybe have it at the end of the day so uh, you can take it back with you maybe heat it up and, and keep it in your fridge in your room. For your kid menu choices you're going to have a chicken leg, macaroni and cheese, catfish, seared catfish and then also your prime rib and then you have your choice of the different sides. But most of the items on the menu are going to be um, your allergy free and they do as you scroll down in the menu in the app you'll be able to see all the different things but pretty much the majority of them are gluten and wheat free egg and fish free soy free milk free also the peanut and tree nut and then of course for your vegetarian options the main thing that they have are going to be the salads for you so the dessert platter is like over the top. It is so cool. So it's going to represent uh, Winnie the Pooh, Tigger, and then also Rabbit. And then your um, fourth option on here is going to be some donut holes with a very warm chocolate dipping sauce. So we're going to go through each of them and taste them. Ooh. Oh man. Alright, so the tigger one, tigger one, it looks like it has like a, a chocolate cake around it. There's also a little bit of custard in there, some ch uh, chocolate on top, and some whipped cream. Mm. I stand corrected, and it's banana pudding inside. That is really good. This is considered a hummingbird cake. Honestly, I can't even tell you what's in here, so we're gonna taste it and we're gonna see. <laughs> Just being real here, just being real. So it has a taste like a, a coffee, like a morning coffee cake. And then in it, it has some dried fruit. I think it's pineapple. Possibly apricot. The icing on top is really good. It's like a buttercream. It's extremely rich, but it complements the dessert very, very well. Thank you. It is awesome. It's like my word for everything. I do feel like I taste a little bit of uh, toasted coconut in here as well. And now for the Winnie the Pooh as themed treat. Take off the paper. All right, so that is filled with caramel like a thick caramel with a raspberry um, topping on top with the cake. Mm, that's good. That raspberry cream on top. Oh my goodness. It's not overly sweet. You really get that raspberry taste from it. The cake is super moist. Uh, it's just a regular like vanilla white cake. And then lastly, we have some donut holes in here, and then still some warm chocolate sauce. And you can uh, smell the cinnamon on those. Really? So it's going to have the consistency of like a cake donut. A little thicker than a beignet. We got chocolate that's almost like a dark chocolate. It's really rich and it's really dark. Not like a milk chocolate. But I do love the cinnamon and the sugar on top. That is really good. Oh yes. Definitely going to be a perfect sweet treat for later. 
overall experience, I did like the place and how light and airy it is. A medium loudness. Um, I like that they don't rush you through. When they brought the food out so quickly, I was afraid that they were just gonna try and move you along. But they let us take our time, eat our food, and then whenever the waiter realized that we were really done, that's whenever he brought out the uh, dessert tray. So that was really nice. We both, uh, my son gives it a seven out of 10. I give it an eight out of 10. For the price point at about $40 uh, per person, it, the food was good great amount of food. Uh, we are actually taking quite a bit of food with us. Uh, would we eat this again without characters? Probably not, but I do think it is worth it sitting down with characters and getting all of, especially if you have a Winnie the Pooh fan and sitting down and getting all of the Winnie, Pooh, the Winnie the Pooh uh, characters coming to you. But at this moment, right now, there is this is not a character meal. Thank you for watching. I'm Terry with Creating the Magic and have a magical day.